Institute for Faith and Freedom at Grove City College presents Liberty Mail with the Student Fellows of Faith and Freedom. Hello and welcome to Liberty Mail. I'm Grace Riley. And I'm Katie Kenline. And we're coming to you from the Confronting Antisemitism Conference here at Grove City College. We're excited to bring you exclusive interviews with conference speakers and we hope you enjoy this series. Welcome back to Liberty Mail. I'm Katie Kenline, and we're um, in the atrium here at the conference um, at Institute for Faith and Freedom at Grove City College, and we have the esteemed Dr. Ken Gore with us. We're very glad to have you this afternoon. I'm glad to see you, Katerlina. Oh, good, thank good you. to be with you. Thank you, Grace. Um, hi, yeah, Tessa? Grace is hi. back here too. We've got the whole crew, uh, the and whole it's, crew? it's a really fun time here today. And all kinds of speakers. We had a Vice President Pence here this yeah, morning. Yeah, he was great. It was really. It, it was, was, it was been, really good. It's been a, a really special speech. day. Yeah. So, what one of the things we're wondering, and this I have to say, does come from you know we just Grace thought of this question, but. How did you arrive on this as the topic for this year? Yeah, I mean, so I mean, often it's unpredictable from year to year, right? I mean, sometimes we'll have the we'll have the topic a year early, mm -hmm. right? And then other times, I mean, yeah, not a few weeks early, right? Because I mean, you have to be ready like by <laughs> January at least. But but in this case, it was motivated by what happened on October seventh, mm -hmm. and and when we saw in the immediate weeks after that how so many campuses, the students were protesting not Hamas, but Israel, mm -hmm. of all things, right? Israel, of all things. And uh, myself and Robert Ryder and President McNulty were talking. We were talking once again about how different Grove City College is, mm -hmm. right? How that's not happening at Grove City College. And and we all thought, and McNulty really suggested it. So, yeah, why don't we do something on anti-Semitism, mm -hmm. not only because it's a great topic and important, but really to, to showcase how different Grove City College is from everybody else. I mean, here... On our campus, we have people like you and Grace and others who um, who go to Israel, who have been to Israel. And I mean, we send, there's probably not many Jewish students here. I mean, this, yeah. we're, you know, we're largely kind of generally sort of evangelical Christian, but we have, a, we have so many students who go to Israel um, on, on trips to the Holy Land. I was going to mm -hmm. call it mission trips. I guess they're not really mission trips, right? They're really, For, yeah, yeah the, the, you know, trips to visit the Holy Land, see, see what it's like. And so, you know, we're the complete opposite. And, uh, and then we immediately started thinking of all the different speakers we could bring uh -huh. in. And um, you were here this morning. We kicked it off with um, two people that I interviewed, uh, yeah. Paul Packer, who wrote a piece for um, Us of the American Spectator in October, shortly after that, called um, I Was There on October 7th. Yeah. He happened to be there. And David Pfeiffer, who graduated from Grove City College, class of 81. He was, our, he was the editor of the Collegian when he was here. Oh, wow. Um, his son, Dan, was here. In fact, he was a student fellow of ours probably about 10 years ago. And David's Jewish. Mm -hmm. and he, great story. He went back to Israel. He lives there. And when we did the, the talk this morning, so I had Paul Packer on stage across from me. And David was on the screen behind us in Israel seven hours ahead. Yeah, wow. And he had like a stone wall behind him, and it was a bomb shelter. Wow. It was his home bomb shelter. That's where he was actually doing the interview from. So, uh, yeah, that's that's what motivated it was to um, show how you know, we're concerned about anti-Semitism. It's mm -hmm. a problem that's gone on forever. We talk about it at Grove City College. But it's really kind of reared its ugly head in a, an entirely new way on campuses across the West in the last few months. Yeah, well, and I know that... Grace has been to Israel. I got to. We both got to go um, two weeks ago. We went to the Holocaust Museum in DC, oh, well. um, which was a really sobering time, but it's an incredible museum. You know, full it is. of all of this information um, and people's stories. But um, you walk through it in like silence, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, oh, yeah. uh, you know, museums, I guess, are probably mostly like that anyway, like an art gallery, maybe. Uh -huh. But in, in that case, with the Holocaust Museum. You're just struck with this like um, cloud of sadness mm -hmm. as soon as you walk in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that for all the you know we had we got to have hundreds of students at the um, Pence talk this morning, which mm -hmm. I think was was really cool. I think six hundred, by okay, the way. Okay, that's what which, yeah, yes. which would be um, that's what Robert Ryder said, and that would be. I mean, think about this: a quarter of our student body. It's really great. Shows up at eleven o'clock in the morning yeah. for uh, to some hear the former vice president. Some people class at that time, and you know exactly. So, yeah, which right. is really and cool. And probably professors who didn't let them out, right? <laughs> uh, but but I I don't know. Yeah, they so that was a great showing, and Crawford Hall. We had, in fact, we started late because there was such a long line uh -huh. of people, and praise God it didn't rain because it's uh -huh. been raining all day, but there was a line of a couple hundred people um, waiting out to get into Crawford Hall, and Crawford Hall was, I think, 
completely filled. Yeah, pretty much sold out. A little over a thousand. Yeah, it's Um, great. But I think I think one of the things I really loved is Pence talked about how he'd been in Israel earlier. He had all these pictures, and I think is really good for students to see and hear. Um, Just him and President McNulty had some different anecdotes of anti-Semitism on college campuses, things we don't, we and haven't he, he had seen had been here. He had been there since October yeah. 7th, and, yeah. and Pence had, and was had a tour with um, somebody from the Israeli IDF mm-hmm. and, and others, and so he really got to see places where the Hamas terrorists came in and, you know, like, like, like shot up an apartment yeah. and, and, you know, killed people. So he really got to see it. And, and, and Pence pointed out, too, that, uh, and McNulty pointed this out, when Pence was in Congress, he actually headed the anti-Semitism mm-hmm. committee in, in Congress. And Tom Lantos, who was a very liberal Democratic congressman from uh, from California, came to Pence early on, like right away when he was elected, and said, we need an anti-Semitism conference, and yeah. you need to head it. And so it's a great example of not just ecumenism, but uh, bipartisanship of yeah. those two working together. Yeah. Do you want to talk at all about the new center that we'll have on campus next year that they also announced um, today? It's kind of it'll be in the local news, I'm sure, and, and some there's some press releases from the college. Yeah. Um, but for anyone listening, yeah, who didn't sure. Hear the news. So, so more to come. But the Center for Faith and Public Life it will be called, and our first visiting fellow in the center will be the former Vice President of the United States, That's Mike Pence, exciting. and and he will be on campus to speak. He'll be probably writing a little bit mm-hmm. as well, and I think most significant, he's actually going to teach. It's He's exciting. going to teach a class. I got to get in that class. Right, that's right. My, and, and, and it's, and it's not going to be via Zoom. It's yeah. going to be in person. Yeah. And he'll team teach it with President McNulty. So he'll come here um, several times per semester. It's not a course that we would do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 12 o'clock, yeah. right? We'd probably do it once a week for a couple of hours. However, we, we, we used to do this with uh, Walter Williams, the late, great Walter Williams, okay. a trustee at Grove City mm-hmm. College. He used to teach a course with Dirk Mateer. And uh, he would do it one semester and did this for probably about 10 years. So um, kind of a similar arrangement with Pence. So we'll actually have Grove City College students will be able to take a class with the former vice president of the United States. Pretty, That's a historic yes, thing. Yes, it's pretty exciting. It's really yeah. awesome. And it's all, all the work that you do for this organization, for IFF and um, for everyone that supports IFF. It's a very exciting. I know I'm, I'm very thrilled um, for next year and what's to come, but it's great. And I, and I have to sincerely credit Paul McNulty for <laughs> yeah. that because because he has the relationship. Yes. So you know, he, he's known Pence for years, and his wife, Brenda McNulty, is mm-hmm. close to Karen Pence. So truly without him, it, it, it doesn't happen. Yeah. Um, but also, too, it, it speaks so well that Pence admires us. Um, mm-hmm. generally, regardless, not only because yeah. we have President McNulty, but admires our college and its history. So, yeah, thinking about this now, right, we have a 150th anniversary coming up in 2026, mm-hmm. and, and Pence will be here next year, I think probably the fall of yeah. 2024, and we've never had any former official that high up to, to teach a class. Yeah. It's, it's a pretty exciting. Thing. It it's is. pretty exciting. It There's more to come from mm-hmm. IFF. But That's right. Is there anything else? Closing words about this conference. I'm, I'm glad that we um, have brought all these people together. There's some incredible. We'll have some more interviews um, coming out that Grace and I have done throughout the day um, because we've got some speakers who have amazing stories and research. But yeah, I would I would tell people to go to our website, yeah. right, faithandfreedom.com. And, and the videos, are, we're not live streaming it right now, but they will be yeah. posted probably, usually takes a couple, takes a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. But you really want to see these, these presentations. Yeah. I, I'm telling you, Pence was great. He mm-hmm. gave such a good talk. And that first panel with Paul Packer, David Pfeiffer, Naomi Schaefer Riley, uh-huh. uh, who author of God on the Quad, she was on with our provost Peter Frank um, yeah. in the second panel. <laughs> she, she's great. I yes, mean, and I got to really interview smart, with her this morning, she? which will be out too. She's, she's so, so good. Really, she's so yeah. good. So, so I'd say get those, watch them, and then make the make the web your friend. Mm-hmm. Take that, click it, cut and paste it, and send it to people. Yeah, and you know, get more and more people to see it and see uh, why we're different from all yeah. the other colleges. That's great. Well, thank you so much again. Sure, sure thing, Katarina. By. Thank all you. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye. For more information on the Institute for Faith and Freedom, visit faithandfreedom.com.